And welcome back to this expanded edition of Channel 2 News at 6. And we begin this half hour with new steps being taken to prevent the spread of COVID-19 among Houston's homeless population. City officials announcing today new shelter space that's opening up. Our senior reporter, Phil Archer, live near downtown with those details. Phil? And that's because Houston's homeless are among the most vulnerable to the virus. They are twice as likely to be infected and once infected, more likely to die than most of us. So over the weekend, the city and the county opened that new shelter in an ongoing effort to keep Houston's homeless citizens healthy. Everyday outreach teams visit homeless encampments like this one on the Gulf Freeway to encourage social distancing and good hygiene. They provide sanitizer, mask, and other supplies and check for possible virus cases. In case you do experience more symptoms, I got a phone number here you can call. So far, so good. We haven't screened anybody that has needed to be tested at this point. Um, the folks that we're seeing out here are pretty well informed about social distancing. Joseph Babcock says he is, even though he panhandles to earn money to eat, and he says he's careful about doing it. Wash my hands, take a bath, keep clean, keep, keep away from everybody, try to keep sanitized. Right. It's not easy when you live under a freeway, but he says he feels safer here. Would you go into a shelter if there was room for you? No, sir. Why not? Too many people. The city's homeless shelters are a bigger concern because social distancing is difficult in a space where people literally sleep on top of each other. The Star of Hope shelters are all at capacity now, and Magnificat House has self-quarantined all of its 16 smaller shelters after three unconfirmed cases were discovered two weeks ago. Friday, the city and county opened an overflow facility to help existing shelters maintain social distancing. 40 of its 150 beds are already full. It seems that we've been able to limit the spread of COVID-19 within the homeless system for the time being. If they're still watching very closely, keep your fingers crossed. So far, city officials report fewer than four homeless people have tested positive for the virus. Reporting downtown, I'm Phil Archer, KPRC Channel 2 News. We pray for them and their safety, Phil. Thank you.